Conclusions It appears that, although the aggregate amount of caning was quite high at 3 per average day, the typical boy, 65%, only experienced one or two canings, which was most usually two strokes given to the seat. So, while on the surface the caning rate appears quite excessive, when distilling the distribution down, it is still robust, but not as egregious, as it initially appears. Having said that there should have been a serious look into the cases where boys were caned more than 20 times within three years. That's a red flag to me, because the canings were obviously not modifying behavior in those cases, and perhaps something else was going on here.